Edmonton, a 75-year-old man who took his daughter's marriage vow, until death do us part, into his own hands when he fatally shot and stabbed his son-in-law will serve at least 10 years behind bars, mission accomplished, call the police, that's what he said, stated Crown Prosecutor Mark Heiser wearing it during the sentencing hearing in Edmonton court on August. 1. Recounting what Roberto Robles told his wife after brutally killing 38-year-old Armando Cosmias Blaga in his River Bend home. Crown prosecutors argued that, because of the brutality of the crime and his limited remorse, Roberto Robles deserved somewhere between 10 and 15 years before he could be eligible for parole. Kevin Tuong, for Star Metro, Crown prosecutors Heiser Wieringa and Aaron Pegg painted a vivid picture of the June 17, 2016 slaying, for which Robles was convicted of second-degree murder this June. Pegg said Cosmia Aspalaga was stabbed five times, had five pellet gun wounds and multiple slashes on his hands. Pegg said Cosmia Aspalaga had been ambushed after returning home from work. His last minutes would have been panic, fear, suffering a brutality, said Pegg. Article continued below Pegg argued Robles killed Cosmia Aspalaga as a way of taking the law into his own hands, bringing an end to an antagonistic divorce between Cosmia Aspalaga and Robles' daughter, Flavia Robles, ensuring his daughter wouldn't have to share custody of their child or split their marital assets. The prosecution read 15 victim impact statements from friends and family of Cosmia Aspalaga, the most heart-wrenching of which came from his mother and sister who traveled from Havana, Cuba, to sit in the gallery to hear Robles convicted and sentenced. Cosmia Aspalaga's sister, Adelaide Aspalaga, read a statement prepared by their mother, Georgina Aspalaga, There is no life anymore, only suffering, read Adelaide as her mother cried from the gallery, adding, The greatest loss I could have has been done, Robles, who until that point sat calmly in the prisoner's box dressed. In an orange jumpsuit wept as Georgina's statement was read, crying out, I'm sorry, I am so sorry Georgina, after his lawyer, Mike Danaloik, read an apology letter on his behalf, I'd prefer to be dead now than to see all the pain I caused, read Robles' statement. Danaloik admitted his client had hatred toward the deceased but said it had built up over years, arguing that Robles hadn't planned to kill his son-in-law. Rather, he said, the act was based on personal feelings toward Cosmia Aspalaga, not an attempt to usurp the family law system. Article continued below, it had nothing to do with law, it was just personal, Dan Loic said. In an interview with police after the killing, Pegg said Robles told police half a dozen times that his death was justice, calling Cosmia Aspalaga a rat and piece of junk in his police statements. If I say he's a rat, I offend the rat, Pegg said, quoting Robles' statements to police. While Robles had offered heartfelt apologies to Cosmia Aspalaga's family, Pegg said, there's no apology to Armando. Danaloy countered by arguing Robles said Cosmia Aspalaga didn't deserve to die and fully cooperated with police after Cosmia Aspalaga was killed. Second degree murder comes with an automatic life sentence. At his sentencing hearing, the only issue left to debate was the length of time Robles would be ineligible for parole. Crown prosecutors argued that, because of the brutality of the crime and his limited remorse, Robles deserved somewhere between 10 and 15 years before he could be eligible for parole. Citing his age and good standing in the community, Dan Loic argued Robles deserved closer to the minimum of 10 years before being eligible for release. In her decision delivered Friday, Justice Don Pantelichuk said Robles' health is deteriorating and that he is at risk for rapid decline. While incarcerated, I do accept that he is truly sorry, she said, adding that he has shown that he accepts responsibility. She sentenced him to 10 years in prison before qualifying for parole and also recommended that he be placed at the Drumheller Institution, a medium and minimum security prison, because of his health and old age. The two families are shattered, she said, adding, Mr. Robles, you will pay a very heavy price for your crime, Cosmia Aspalaga's sister was not in court for the sentencing, but his mother spoke to reporters afterward, crying at times, as she described her displeasure with the sentence, she's very upset that things have not gone in her favor, said a translator for Georgina Aspalaga, not even 100 years that Mr. 
Robles would have gone to jail, nothing would have made up the life that her son would have had with his daughter, Claire Theobald is an Edmonton-based reporter who covers crime in the courts. Follow her on Twitter, at Claire Theobald Kieran Levitt is an Edmonton-based reporter. Follow him on Twitter, at Kieran Levitt.